evaluate log base 27 1 over 3. There are three steps involved in evaluating logs. Step 1, let the log equal to x. Step 2, rewrite in index form. And step 3, solve for x. So, step 1, I'm going to let my log equal to x. And step 2, I need to rewrite in index form. So I'm going to use my scorpion tail method to help me with this. So I'm going to start at base 27. My scorpion tail is going to go around the x, so it's going to be to the power of x. Pass the equal sign, and I'm going to end up at 1 third. So 27 to the power of x is equal to a third. So 27 to the power of x is equal to 1 third. Next, I'm going to rewrite 27 as a base of 3. So it's going to be 3 cubed. I must put brackets around it, very important. And I'm going to rewrite 1 over 3 as 3 to the power of minus 1. Now I can see that my bases are matching, so I can cancel out the 3s. And 3 multiplied by x is 3x, and I just bring down the minus 1. I multiplied these together because I was erasing a power to a higher power. So if 3x is equal to minus 1, then x is going to be equal to minus 1 third. Next I want to evaluate log base 16 root 2. So same steps, I'm going to let the log equal to x, so log base 16 root 2 is equal to x. Step 2, rewrite in index form. Again, I'm going to use my scorpion tail method to do this. It's going to be 16 to the power of x is equal to root 2. So I start at base 16, I wrap my scorpion tail around the x, go past the equals and end up at root 2. 16 to the power of x is equal to root 2. So 16 to the power of x is equal to root 2. 16 I'm going to rewrite as a base of 2, that's going to give me 2 to the power of 4, with brackets around it, very important. And root 2 I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of a half. Now that I can see my bases are matching, I can cancel out my bases, which in this case are both 2. And then I'm going to say 4 multiplied by x, because I'm raising a power to a higher power, that's going to give me 4x. And I'm going to bring down the half. So 4x is equal to a half, x is going to be a half divided by 4, which will be 1 over 8. Next, I want to evaluate log root 2, 8. Again, I'm going to let the log equal to x, so log root 2, 8 is equal to x, and then I'm going to rewrite in index form, and then I'm going to solve for x. So to rewrite this in index form, again, I'm going to use my scorpion tail method. I'm going to start at root 2, which is the base. I'm going to wrap my scorpion tail around the x, past the equals, and end up at the 8. So root 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. So root 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. Root 2, power x equals 8. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite root 2 as 2 to the power of a half, and I must have brackets around it. And I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Now I can see that my bases are matching, so I can cancel out the 2s. And I'm raising a power to a higher power, so I multiply the powers. A half times x is a half x. A number times a letter, we stick them together, and I just bring down the 3. So it's going to be a half x is equal to 3, so x is going to be equal to 3 divided by a half, and 3 divided by a half is 6, so x is equal to 6.